Hi, I am with Doug Hagenson, co-founder of the Santa Barbara chapter of Backyard Harvest. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good to be here. I'm glad to have you in our show. And this organization is one of the newest in town. And also the idea behind it is so fresh and original. I really like it. So why don't we start by telling our viewers what's the purpose of this organization? Sure. The main objective is to harness the excess food that's growing in the Santa Barbara community. All the orange trees, avocado trees, persimmons that uh, are growing in with great abundance and capturing that food and distributing it to the less fortunate within the community. Tell me more about the history behind. When was it founded? We started approximately a year ago, and um, I was working at that point in the construction industry, and I kept noticing the uh, abundance of trees and, and therefore food that was generally going to waste. So perhaps a year and a half ago, I started to research the possibility of uh, an organization like this here in town. And through my research, I came across the uh, national organization called Backyard Harvest. And um, Santa Barbara became the sixth chapter of that organization. And we've been uh, averaging approximately four to 5,000 pounds a month of food that would have normally been wasted. And all of the food that we collect has been going to the Unity Shop for distribution to the less fortunate within uh, that are going through their program. So how does it work? The, the program is fairly simple. If um, a property owner, whether it's a, resident, a residential property or a commercial property, has extra food growing on the yard, they would contact us and we make arrangements to come in with either myself or a couple of volunteers. And um, there's also an opportunity for the homeowner to pick their own food if they, if they are able to. Um, but we will come in and harvest the food with volunteers. And um, we're usually in and out of the project in a matter of a, a couple of hours. The client ends up receiving a tax deductible receipt for the donation of the food. We sometimes leave them a little bag of the food that we've picked or leave some on the tree. We sort of customize each job depending on what the homeowner's wishes are. And um, then immediately we take the food to the Unity Shop and there it gets processed to be put on the shelves and the clients that are going through their program typically walk out with the fresh produce within a matter of hours after we've collected it. Great, so the Unity Shop is a great help. Oh, most definitely. We operate under their umbrella as a nonprofit, so um, hence we are able to give a tax deductible receipt to the uh, homeowner for the donation of food. And um, at this point in time, the Unity Shop, there's a lot more people struggling within our community. and. The numbers of clients going through their program have risen from about uh, 16,000 to almost 20,000 people this past year. And the bulk of the food that goes through their program, where they, they have a free grocery store, and the bulk of the food that is donated to their free grocery store, uh, food that might come from the food bank or grocery stores, it's primarily packaged and processed food. So what Backyard Harvest does is we bring them a lot of um, fresh food that they normally wouldn't have. And so far we've collected, like I said earlier, between four and 5,000 pounds a month and up to 45 to 50 different varieties of fruits and vegetables. So that's fresh produce that the Unity Shop typically would not have had. So the program has had a really positive impact on all the constituents that are, are going through the Unity Shop program. Great, congratulations for all that effort. So I understand you have a new member as part of your team, right? Can you introduce him to us? Yeah, Tynes Vyar, who has a PhD in sustainable agriculture, has just joined us as our new program director. So he, just with his uh, depth of experience in sustainable agriculture, he is going to bring a lot of great ideas to our program. Let's welcome him. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. So how do you feel being part of Backyard Harvest? Uh, it's really rewarding work, I've got to say that. Um, nothing is more rewarding than going out and picking food and delivering to those that need it the most, essentially turning waste into nutrition and health for people in our community. And what are your goals for this organization in the future and how would that affect our community? Uh, we really hope to make uh, Santa Barbara a model of sustainable food systems. And we hope to do that by creating a network of basically micro farms all throughout our community, whether it's a residence or an existing farm, we believe that all the world's a farm and every piece of land can be producing food. As Doug, Doug said earlier, Backyard Harvest is actually a national organization and there's a current movement within the organization to expand it. Uh, we've developed a business plan for national expansion, so we really hope this idea catches on, not only here, but elsewhere. Perfect. So how can people get involved? Uh, there's several different ways. If anyone has any extra food growing on their property, we will certainly come in and harvest it for them. We're also always looking for volunteers to help us with the harvesting as well. And naturally, being a nonprofit organization, we are always accepting a financial contribution. 
Perfect. Now, lastly, can you leave us with your website and phone contact so people can get really involved? Yeah, sure. Um, we can be found on the web at backyardharvest.org, and that will take you to the national organization. So it's just a matter of clicking on the Santa Barbara link. And we can also be reached by phone at 805-884-8448. Well, thank you both for your daily work. And this is the nonprofit that looks like Robin Hood, but with permission. So I wish the best for you and the organization. For more information on the nonprofit spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.